Hi, welcome to the fourth annual Kiskit Global Summer School. My name is Olivia Lanes, and I am one of the content organizers for this year's summer school. This year's summer school is called From Theory to Implementation, and this is the logo, logo of our summer school this year. And we'll show you, uh, you know, hopefully, the idea of going from theory world, where everything is perfectly nice and packaged up neatly, to implementation on a quantum computer where things get a little, a little messier. So this is our fourth annual summer school. Uh, in the past, we've taken some advanced topics in quantum computing as our summer school topics. But this year, the organizers and I have decided that we wanted to take a back to basics approach. So by that, we mean really diving into the theory in depth and making sure that everybody has a good understanding of the math and the framework behind quantum computing and then taking what we learn in that first part of the summer school and figuring out how to apply it on real quantum hardware using the state-of-the-art error mitigation techniques. So when you graduate in, in two weeks from this summer school, these are the things that we want you to be able to take away. We want you to have a fundamental knowledge of quantum computing applications be able to understand state-of-the-art error mitigation techniques. And if you don't know what that is right now, that's fine. Be able to identify scientific challenges in the field. Be able to create tangible connections between theory, quantum computing, hardware, and then current research areas and development in the field. Also to be able to differentiate what is practical and real between what is hype or just popular in you know, journalism or in the ecosystem right now in quantum computing. And lastly, we would want you to be able to confidently apply quantum computing concepts and be able to go forward from the summer school to embark on a deeper quantum computing journey of your own. This is really meant to be just the first step in a much longer educational path. And this year, I want to make sure that everybody is familiar with our other content director, John Watrous. We're super fortunate to be able to be working with him here at IBM Quantum. He's been with us uh, here for a little over a year now. He worked on the last summer school, but this year we're really fortunate to be able to feature some of the lectures that he's been doing that he's developed for the Kiss Kit YouTube channel. And you can go and look those up right now if you wish, but we're going to be doing a deeper dive into those lectures and John is going to be able to answer any questions that you have on those lectures that he's been producing for the past few months as well. So John is our technical director of education and comes to us from the University of Waterloo's Institute for Quantum Computing. Before that, he was a faculty member at Calgary and a postdoc at Montreal, and he received his PhD from the University of Wisconsin. His primary area of expertise is in the theory of quantum information and computation, and he's also written an excellent book called The Theory of Quantum Information, which I definitely recommend everyone grabs a copy of. It's really fantastic. So we're super thankful John is with us and helping to direct content this year. So like I said, the, the goal for this year is to be able to connect strong theoretical knowledge, which John is going to teach us in the first week of the summer school, to practical usage of quantum hardware. And so I'm going to be leading off the second week of the summer school by taking a deep dive into quantum hardware, specifically superconducting transmon qubits, which is the architecture that IBM Quantum uses. And then we're going to be talking from there about the different noise that exists in quantum channels, in quantum computers, why it exists, and how to deal with it with error mitigation techniques. So that's the plan going forward. Uh, I want to quickly mention we have a very strict code of conduct for our summer school. Um, I'm not going to read all of this in its entirety, but I encourage you to look it up. It's on the Kiskit GitHub whenever you have a free moment. But basically, you know, this is meant to be a very welcoming environment. We understand that people are coming in with a wide range of expertise and education levels, and that's fine. That's what we want. So just be very welcoming. You know, welcome different viewpoints, experiences, ideas. Uh, make sure that you accept constructive criticism gracefully and just be very empathetic and mindful of your surroundings and conduct yourself professionally the whole time. Um, please don't troll anybody, you know, don't say anything offensive, don't say anything degrading, and don't share any private information on our chat channels or our Discord. All right, with that, um, I wanted to mention the prerequisite material. 
Uh, it's pretty minimal this year, so the things that we expect you to know going into the lectures are a little bit of linear algebra, so we need to make sure that you know how to at least multiply matrices. And if you don't, you know, feel free to check out this page on kiskit.org slash learn. All of the prerequisite material exists there. You can look it up whenever you need it, or if you just need a refresher, that's fine too. We also recommend that you know uh, a little bit about Qiskit, Python, and how to install a Jupyter Notebook, and that you can get started with that right off the bat. And then, this is optional, but I think you know the introductory course from a few years ago is really a fantastic place to just refresh yourself and make sure that you're up to date on anything, and just also use as a reference guide if something is confusing or if you forget how to do something, just please refer to it throughout the lectures as well. And that's it. So that's all we're asking you to know coming into this. We understand that people are going to come in, like I said, from a wide variety of different backgrounds, and that's totally fine. But by the end of it, hopefully we'll all be on the same page and we'll all be ready to start applying what we've learned to the best of our ability and the, using state-of-the-art techniques on the state-of-the-art hardware that we have available through IBM. I want to introduce, really briefly, our instructors, lab organizers, and event organizers for 2023. You'll probably see some familiar faces here. So John and I are the content directors for this summer school, and we also you know, have some familiar faces that you'll probably recognize from years in the past. If you've joined us previously, Zlako, Menev, and Nick Braun are joining us again as instructors. And then some new faces, we have Omar, Abby, Kevin, and Kaylin as well. And then I would be amiss if I didn't mention the excellent job that Alea and Serena have done organizing this event behind the scenes. They've just absolutely killed it and done a fundamental, sorry, done a fantastic job, and this event would not exist without them. Uh, and lastly, I also want to thank the Kiskit production crew. They're behind the scenes filming all of this, and this also would not happen without them either. They're here to make this an excellent experience for you. So uh, lastly, before we get started, just a few things I want you to keep in mind and remember. Just really engage with the material. If you get stuck, just ask for help. It's fine. The instructors, the mentors, they're here for you. They're here to answer questions. But don't just ask for the answer, right? Because you don't learn anything by just asking for the answer. And you're not getting you know, college credit or anything from this course. This course is really to aid in your learning because you want to be here. So really sink your teeth into the material and you know, give it all you've got over these next two weeks. Um, be professional. Stay on topic. One thing I'll mention is that we're having Q&A sessions for every single lecturer, so you can ask any questions that you have about the lecture material to the actual instructors in real time. That will all be live. Um, but we want to make sure that we stay on topic. If you have any questions about like jobs or internships or networking, that's totally fine. But we ask that you save those types of questions for the end of week two. We're going to have a panel with all of the lectures, and we're going to be happy to answer any career questions or other questions that you have uh, during that session. But for the Q&A sessions, we're going to try to stay on topic and only focus on the scientific material. And lastly, if you're struggling, don't stress. This material is not easy. Uh, it's not meant to be easy. It's meant to be, you know, pedagogically inclined. And we hope that everybody, you know, has a good experience. But it's hard material. It's difficult. Um, and we all started where you are right now. So if you're not getting something, that's fine. You know, sleep on it. Give it another go the next day. And if you put enough effort into it, if you keep trying, I know you're going to get it. And so with that, I welcome you to the fourth Kiskit Annual Summer School. And we will get started momentarily.